In this video, we provide the solution to question number seven for practice exam number four for math 1210, in which case we're given the function f of x equals x to the fourth over four minus five x cubed over three plus three x squared plus 23 over two. And we're asked on which intervals is the, is the function f concave downward. Well, if a function's concave downward, that means its second derivative is actually negative. So we need to compute the second derivative and identify where this thing is negative. Now, if you are scared of these fractions, don't worry. Turns out it's they're gonna disappear very quickly. These numbers were chosen strategically for your sake. That's the test taker here. We have to first compute the first derivative here. So by the usual power rule, we're gonna get x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x, the derivative of 23 halves, since it's a constant, we'll just go to zero. So we can see with the first derivative, the fractions have all disappeared. So that's the generous part of things. Uh, now when we calculate the second derivative, because concavity is determined by the second derivative, we'll do the, we'll do the derivative again. So we get 3x squared minus 10x plus 6. And so now we have this quadratic function. We have to identify when this thing is equal to zero. So we'll have to solve this quadratic equation. We can do that by factoring, completing the square, or maybe we could do the quadratic formula. Uh, if you try to factor, if you take three times six, right, that's 18 factors of 18 that add to be negative 10. Well, three and six together are gonna give us, of course, nine, that's not good enough. Uh, we could try nine and two, but that gives us 11. So we can't quite hit it. There's not a, quite a sweet spot. And we are gonna have to use the quadratic formula in this situation to find these potential points of inflection. So by the quadratic formula, we're gonna get negative B, which is 10 plus or minus the square root of B squared, which is gonna be 100 minus 4AC. So four times three times six, we'll come back to that one, all over 2A, which is gonna give you two times three, which is a six. Uh, so continuing on, we had three times, uh, three times six we said earlier was 18. Four times that is going to give us 72. So let me just erase these numbers right here. We get 72 like so. And so if we take 100 minus 72, we end up with 28. So we get the square root of 28 over 6. 26, or 28 is not a perfect square, which is why we couldn't factor it earlier. But 28 can be factored as 4 times 7. 4 is a perfect square. So we end up with 10 plus or minus 2. 2 times the square root of 7 over 6, for which, since everything's divisible by 2, uh, we can simplify our critical numbers to be x equal, uh, excuse me, our potential points of inflection as 5 plus or minus the square root of 7 over 3. So, you know, numbers like this seem to now make a lot more sense going on here. So then we have to think about the sign, right? Where are you concave down? If you concave down when you're negative. So in terms of a sign chart, we need to look at the smaller number, 5 minus the square root of 7 over 3. And we have to take the larger number, 5 plus the square root of 7 over 3. We could use test values like zeros between, um, what's the number bigger than that? Probably like 100 is bigger than that. We could use test points if we wanted to. We could put these into the second derivative. Or I'm just gonna use the fact that I, since I know the second derivative is quadratic, it looks like a parabola. The leading coefficient is a three, so it's gonna concave upward. The parabola is, I'm not saying that's what our function f is doing. The, the second derivative's graph would look something like this. So you're gonna see that it's above, below, above. So we see positive, negative, positive for our second derivative. So in terms of the function, we're gonna be concave up, concave down, and concave upward. So the interval we're looking for is right here. We want all numbers between the two potential points of inflection as these are in fact points of inflection. So we see that the correct answer would then be D.